A healthy diet includes a balance of different food groups, including grains, fruits, vegetables, dairy, and proteins. We recommend using the dietary guidelines, which recommends 45 to 65% of daily calories come from carbohydrates, 20 to 35% calories from fat sources, and 10 to 35% from protein sources. According to these guidelines, all people aged two through adults should have a minimum of 130 grams of carbohydrates per day to provide normal growth and body function. The USDA's MyPlate.gov website and free phone app is a helpful tool in visualizing the breakdown of each food group that everyone should eat each day. The advice can help you stay on track and develop healthy eating behaviors, including eating more fruits and vegetables and increasing the variety in a child's daily diet. A healthy routine involves eating three meals per day, breakfast, lunch, and an evening meal. Snacks may be part of a child's daily routine based on their level of activity or schedule, Snacks and light meals between breakfast, lunch, and dinner that contain carbohydrates still require insulin to maintain a healthy blood sugar level. We also recommend children with T1D stay well hydrated to help with insulin absorption and general health. Drinking plenty of water will also help a child with T1D identify when they may be experiencing a high blood glucose. Feeling thirsty and using the bathroom more often is a common sign that blood glucose levels are running high so staying hydrated every day can help distinguish the difference between ordinary thirst and a symptom that should be checked on. In addition to foods containing carbohydrates, every child will need a diet that has a healthy amount of proteins and fats. Good sources of protein include lean meat like chicken breast or lean beef, lentils, eggs, cheese, and peanut butter. Foods like avocados, nuts, olives, and salmon can be good sources of healthy fats. Proteins and fats can slow down digestion when they are eaten with carbohydrates, which means blood glucose may rise slower over time and be more stable and predictable. We all choose to eat foods that are high in carbs from time to time, for special occasions or for comfort. That doesn't mean all high carbohydrate foods are unhealthy or that eating unhealthy foods occasionally is a bad thing. Even foods with a high amount of carbohydrates can be part of a healthy diet. The key for every child with T1D is balancing the carbohydrates they eat from a variety of healthy sources with the right amount of insulin. In the next module, we'll discuss how exercise and activity can affect blood glucose levels and how to manage it.